All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, our Chakodash, that belong to our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings, much love uh, to you, hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. Just want to deal with this um, this scripture that Vocab Malone went into, uh, which another fail. You know, this man is, is reaching, Christianity is, is failing. Okay, you can't, you can't, you can't fit in uh, other nations or Edomites into 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 salvation, man. It's not there. It's just for the Israelites. Okay, we've been over this numerous times, you know. And I'm gonna um, hit a few precepts. This should be a short, pretty straight to the point video. You know, if the spirit hit me, I'll keep going. But if not, um, I have some kind of set up that's just straightforward. All right, so I'll read the scripture that Vokab attempted to use, Mark 3, verse 7. But Yahweh Shai withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, right? And these are people that want to hear the word, okay, which is obvious. It says, and from, Ju from Galilee, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, which we know Idumia is a Greek way to say Edom. Okay. And from beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Zidon, a great multitude, uh, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him, right? And it goes on to say how, you know, they want to be healed. Okay. So he withdrew, him, he would, uh, withdrew himself onto a ship to, to teach from the ship so he would, you know, be able to to have peace so the virtue wouldn't uh, continue to be pulled out of him. You know, they you can overtake him. He's right there. So people just were seeking to be healed, right? Anyway, the point being is this. Uh, these are Israelites. It's straight, straight up. There's no way around that. We already know that we've been scattered. Um, let me grab it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. Okay, so we were scattered among all people, even amongst Edomites. Okay, so there's Jake among Edomites. Okay, that will live that, that custom. Okay. Straight up, that, that's that's that. From one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Okay, and it goes on to say that we're not going to have an easy James. James 1 and 1, a servant of Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shammashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. Okay. I'm going to hit this one anyway. Romans 1. Let me take a quick glance up. Okay. Yeah. I'll start at verse 3. Romans 1 and 3. Concerning his son Yahweh Shammashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, right? Uh, and declared to be the son of the Most High with power according to the, the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, right? That's speaking of Yahweh Shai, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations, okay, for his name. Okay, among whom ye are also the called of Mashiach Yahweh Shai to all that be in Rome. Right? Wait, wait, but I thought Rome was ruled by Edomites. To all that be in Rome, uh beloved of the most high. That's who's the beloved of the most high? The house of David, right? Which are which are Israelites. Okay, because when you look at how the the Old Testament and New Testament is set up. The Old Testament was was pretty much speaking to the full nation of Israel, okay, all the Israelites, and the New Testament was talking to the believers of the Israelites, okay. There was a separation. The whole nation uh, was not the ministry anymore. Was not was not um, that doesn't change that all the Israelites were still the people, but the ministry was now based upon the believers, okay, of, of the true doctrine in Yahweh Shai and and you know the the full doctrine. Okay, not just the law. Okay, and a lot of them were scattered. This is the same mixed multitude we know about in the book of Revelation. 
Okay, the seventh chapter, right after it names all the twelve tribes, the mixed multitude is still twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, but they're going to look like other nations. I'll grab it real quick. It says, um, called to be saints. Okay, grace unto you in peace from our Father, Yahweh, and our Lord, Yahweh, Shah Mashiach. A real quick, Psalm 50, a Psalm of Asaph. I'm going to get to the point, but when you read up out of Zion, um, yeah, speaking of you, how I shy there, but I'm going to get to the point. Verse 4, he hath called to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Okay, this is still Old Testament talking about the Israelites. Gather my saints together unto me, those that I have made a covenant with me by sacrificing us only to Israel. Okay, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for the Most High is judge himself. Salah, uh, hear, O my people, I will, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am Yahweh, even thy power. All right, but in Psalm one forty-eight, Psalm one forty-eight, verse fourteen. Let's start up at um thirteen. Let them praise the name of the Lord Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people. Same thing is said in Psalm fifty. The praise of all his saints, all his saints, even of the children of Israel. That's not talking about a separation. That's matter of fact, particularly speaking, the children of Israel, a people near unto him. And it goes further, a people near unto him. Okay? And that's Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. I'm not going to get it. So people so, the heathen will say, people so nigh unto thee. Well, what are the rest of the heathen? Okay? So no heathen are making it in. Okay? It's never been about that. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Now, the apostle Ramla refreshed me on this one. Uh, Jeremiah 40 and 11, likewise, when all the Jews that were in Moab and among the Amorites and in Edom, which is another way to say uh, Idumia. Now, let me go back and prove that. Okay, in the blue letter, G2401. Now, this was, I use this straight from uh, Mark 3, right? Idumia, the one vocab uses. 202401, right? Idumia, right? root word of original Hebrew, I do me it. Wait, let me read it though before I go to there, the root word. The name of region between southern Palestine and the Arabian Petraea. Okay, Petra. Petra is over there, right? Where they have that. The columns and all that that look like D.C. and over in um, England and all of that. Okay. Inhabited by Edom or Esau and his posterity. Prost that's his family line over there. That's his region. That's the land that the Heavenly Father gave to him. Okay. It tells you all of that right there. South um, region, east and south of Palestine, Idumia. Okay. Tells you where it's at. Now, let's see. Adawam. Edom. Right there. Adawam. Okay. Edom. That's it right there. Edom means red. Right there. Edomite, Idumian, you see it? Descendants of Esau. Okay, land of Edom, Idumia, land south and southeast of Palestine. Okay, showing you that that's the Hebrew word. So those two verses go together. I'll continue reading this just for, you know, just to, to make the point. And there were in all countries, and that, and that were in all the countries. Okay, these are Jews that were in all the countries. Heard the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah and had, and he had set them over, excuse me, set over them Gadiah, Gadala, Leah, oh yeah, I don't know, son of Anakim, the son of Saphan. Even all the Jews returned out of all places where the, they were driven and came to the land of Judah to get Gedalia, right? And Mizpah, unto Mizpah. And unto and gather wine and summer fruits very much. Okay, they're just going into that. Okay, we're driven away, we're scattered. Okay, so this is the Israelites that were scattered, right? Okay, so this is uh, Hebrews 12, 
verse 16, and this is like this New Testament. What can you say about this? It said, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, right? Esau, Edom, Idumia, right? Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright from Genesis to the 25th chapter, right? Uh, for ye know that afterward he would have inherited the blessing which goes into the 27th chapter when he was rejected. But he was rejected before either had come out the womb, which goes into Romans the ninth chapter. For he found no place of repentance. Now here's the thing, Israelites that don't repent. The two-thirds of the Israelites that don't repent are going to catch judgment. So Edom can now get saved. Another heathen can get saved. Stop it. Though he sought it carefully with tears. Okay, you got to repent to make it. Okay, the, the, the Israelites scattered in Edom in different parts in all the countries of the world, those Israelites will have repented and they'll be saved. Okay? But how do you repent? You have to um, come back to the statute, laws, and commandments and, and acknowledge who you are and, and, and move with the works in faith. Okay? In works. But look what it says here. Yeah, let me start up. Verse 15, Psalm 50. It's back in Psalm 50. And um, 15, we saw who we were talking about up at the top. Okay. Gathering of the saints, you know, it says, um, verse 15, and I will and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee. Okay, talking about the Israelites, and thou shalt glorify me. Okay, but unto the wicked, the most high saith, this is whether it's the wicked of, of Edom or the wicked Israelites, but we understand. That he didn't have a covenant uh, with the Edomites, with the wicked. He didn't have a covenant with them. That is about to say, what has thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Well, the Israelites, even though the two thirds are wicked, they did make a covenant with the Heavenly Father. Okay. The Edomites did not. It says, uh, declaring to me, uh, uh, what, what has thou to do to declare my statutes, which is part of the law, or that thou shouldest take my co covenant in thy mouth, even though you call yourselves the Jews and are not, but do lie, right? Seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee. Okay? And this is, the two-thirds have done that, but this is the Edomites that still do that. Okay, because they're not trying to become Israelites and live by the standard that we live by. Because that's what a, a, an Israelite foreigner would do. They take the scripture as we break it down in its truth and they live that uh, that way. But they don't want that. They don't want to be under Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They want to be under God and JC. Okay, and they want to live that Christian life or that Talmudic life. Okay, they want to live that way. They want to still be a part of this world. They don't want this world to end when Yahweh Shai's return, which a key thing to the kingdom of heaven is where is the return of Yahweh Shai? Okay? Because when, when, when the Israelites, and that's another video that I had, but, you know, anyway, I'll see if I could do that one or redo that one anyway. Right? But it says, seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee. Right? This is Isaiah 26, verse 10. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. Okay? So he's not going to repent, though he sought it carefully with tears. What has thou to do? And you got to understand, like I said, I was going to, you know, you got to understand this, man. The Edomites were created for a specific purpose. Okay? And they will fulfill that purpose. And when that purpose is fulfilled, there won't be a need for them. Anyway, it says, in the land of, you know, that's another lesson, like I said, in the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly, even though he's in the land of Israel right now, he's still dealing unjustly. The land of uprightness, he's dealing unjustly. Okay? He ain't telling us we're the Israelites. He ain't make sure there's peace on earth if he was the Israelites. He ain't doing that. This is talking about Edom particularly Amalek and will not 
behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? Because they wouldn't be speaking so stout and so, so proud. Look at what Nora, uh, Yuval Noah Harari speaks. You know, we can save ourselves. We don't have to wait for a God to come out the sky to save us no more in, in such things. Okay? But here's the real kicker. Because when when they were when they were supposed to be done away with, we know Esau and Edom will be done away with. But when, right? And this ties back into what I was reading about that land of Idumia, uh, Obadiah one. Um, matter of fact, let me start up. We know I start at verse one, and then I'll jump back down. Uh, the vision of Obadiah thus saith the the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom, which is Idumia in the Greek, right? We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Yeah, you, 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 man, everybody's knowing that you're the wicked, man. Everybody's pointing out that you're the problem. Okay, behold, I made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, another uh, identifier, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Okay? Verse 6. And I mean, this whole chapter is going in on E. Obadiah had a heavy uh, prophecy. Okay? And that's why you don't, this ain't read. You don't, you don't want the book of Obadiah, you know? Uh, uh, red, if you want to be uh, a part of this thing, okay, because ju your judgment's in it. That's why it's not shown up. That's why I come vocab okay, never bring this this scripture up. This 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 book up, right? Verse six. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. And look, you were at, at peace with everybody, a confederate, should I say, with everybody, but taken down the Israelites, you know, when you look in the Psalm 80, 83, right? It says, but they have prevailed against thee. And they eat thy bread and have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Okay, shall not in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? And understanding out of the Mount of Esau, right? Verse 10, for thy, matter of fact, 9, and thy mighty men, O Teman, which is the city of Edom, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Okay, when did this happen? This is what you was teaching. Now you try to teach it. So I've already shown that they can't be can't be saved though they sought it carefully with tears because they will not learn righteousness because it's not in their purpose okay but it says for thy violence against thy brother jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever all right ezekiel 35 15 then i'll jump up it says as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of israel because it was desolate yeah you came in there and you set set foot over there and in Great Britain, which was more Edomites, established you over there with law. Okay, that's not how the Heavenly Father is supposed to establish us. Okay, that's why you had to abandon that they were done away with. Okay, because that, that doesn't hold up when you start looking at who, like there's natural identifiers of things that's happening and evidence of what's happening in the earth. So who's that over there in the, in the Middle East? If that ain't the Israelites, because you can't prove that no more. If that ain't the Israelites, if that's in the land of Edom, why is there, if that was them, there wouldn't be war. Okay, the, where is Yahweh Shai? Okay, why is there not peace in the earth? Who were the Edomites? Okay, these questions should be hitting you Christians' minds, man. But you guys, a lot of you are, are sealed with a hot iron, a lot, and some of you will come out of that. Right, it says, so will I do unto thee. Because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Gonna make the land of Edom desolate. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, right? Even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Okay. 
Uh, if I jump up, um, I'll go straight to the point. Um, verse 3, I mean, the whole chapter goes also. Ezekiel 35 and 3, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, Behold, O Mount Seir, which is also the land of Idumea, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of, of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. In the time of our calamity, okay, he sent you as a sword unto us. But the time when our iniquity had an end, you continued and perpetuated the sword and killing on us, right? Verse 6, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. And I will make Mount Seir most desolate and cut uh, off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth, all the Edomites. You're going to return to all your people as well. Okay? As the, as the children of Israel be, will be sifted out of every nation, will come back to be Israelites, the Edomites will do the same. You'll be Israelite, uh, You'll be Edomites again if you look like Jake's. Like Lenny Kravitz won't, 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 won't be, be able to fake like a, like a Jake no more. Okay? He's going to be with his people, the, 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 the Edomites, the Idumians. As, as as a um as an example, right? Anyway, um, and I will fill his mountains with the yeah, slain. And it goes on with that to hit another point. Verse ten: Because thou hast said these two nations, which are what the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, and these two countries shall be mine, and I will possess it. And what are they making sure they do? They're trying to take Palestine. That was the land of the north, the northern kingdom. Okay, so now they're even today forwarding that, that, which hits right on the prophecy. Okay, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there, right? Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, power Yahweh, I will even do all according to thine anger and according to thine envy. Right, because he, he was envious when he saw uh, uh, that Jacob had got the blessing from Isaac. Okay. And he was mad. He said, then will, this is Genesis the 27th chapter, then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay. It says, um, and, and uh, which thou has used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make known, my, excuse me, make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Okay. Let me see. Yep. So let me go back to open the Okay, I'm going to go down to verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother, talking about Jacob, because we're still talking about the Edomites, Esau, right? And the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Okay, when all these other, every time we went into captivity, whether it be Babylon or or, or, um, or Persia and the Medes, you or, or Syria, you was always there to try to persecute us, man. Okay, because you're you're envying your hatred for us. Okay, because that was part of your purpose that you were created for. Okay, and that purpose is almost up after the, the, this uh, source. You know, you come in like a flood. Okay, and you get and get and get and exhaust that to punish the the, the 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 wicked of the Israelites. Okay, the 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 remnant will be saved, and you will be destroyed as well. Anyway, it says, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into thy gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yeah, you went right into the land of Israel, and tried to set yourself up as if you were the children of Israel to have authority in the earth. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hand. And you scattered the people, and you continue to 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 throw us the worst of the worst, to where you th you've thrown witchcraft on us that we don't know who we are today. But there's a remnant that 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 has woken up to this, and we're coming back to the Father, okay? And through and through the elect, or when I'm of the elect, through the elect, the whole nation will come back. Okay, and you will be done away with. 
Okay, and that has not happened yet. Okay, um, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. But the prophecy did say, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. And we know a bastard is a fatherless, and Ashdod is in the land of Israel. So we knew he would go in there. Okay, and heathen would live in there. And we know who that is. That's speaking of Edom. Okay, neither should as thou have stood in the crossway yet. That's, that's you know, they were trying to get us. Um, 15, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee, tying in with uh, um, Ezekiel 35, thy reward shall return upon thine own head. And look, a reward is just what you get back for what you've done. If I will achieve good, I will receive good. Wasn't that told to, um, if thou had done good, thou would have been accepted? That was told to um, Cain, showing you that that line goes back, being a murderer from the beginning. Okay, that's the same spirit that's in the Edomites now. Okay, it says, um, For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink as they have swallowed down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Okay, they're going to be wiped away. No more remain. It's about to say. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And who's Mount Zion? Speaking of the Israelites, the monument of the Israelites. Particularly the elect, the 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 Israel, uh, the, the Israel of the Most High, and it says in Romans nine, not all Israel is of Israel, okay? Because there's an Israel, and then there's an Israel of the uh, of the Most High, okay? There there's the nation of Israel, but then there's an elect out of the nation of Israel, even though Israel is 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 the, the chosen people of all the nations of the earth, okay? It says um, yep. But deliverance shall be, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Talking about the Edomites' possession, that land of Idumea. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of jo Joseph a flame, the northern kingdom, and the house of Esau for stubble is going to burn them up, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. And they, sh and look, and it tells you right here, and they of the south shall possess the Mount of Esau, who's the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, and they, and they of the plain of the Philistines, and they shall possess the field of fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Okay, showing you the lands that we're going to possess. And the captivity of the host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even the Zarephath, uh, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sephard, shall possess the cities of the south. And Savior shall come up uh, on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Okay. So that possession that that ain't that ain't we don't own that now, okay? That land of 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 Jordan is isn't isn't owned by the Israelites right now, so it, they're still there and they can't be saved, okay? The land is still there. The people of Edom are still here, okay? And 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 um, yeah, that other lesson I'll get into that, and 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 um. And you Edomites won't, you know, can't be saved. There's no scripture saying it. The scriptures actually say you can't be saved, though you found uh, there's no place for repentance, though you sought it carefully with tears. Okay, yeah, you're going to be super Christians now that the judgment is coming, but you, you don't want to be Israelites. You don't want to be Hebrew Israelites. You don't want to live by the by the discipline of the Hebrew Israelites calling on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Let me hit a couple more precepts. One just came to mind. Malachi 1 verse 14, but cursed be the deceiver, which is another word for devil or accuser, okay, which hath his flock in his flock of male and voweth in sacrifice unto the unto the Lord, a corrupt thing. Okay, now it's going back to um Cain and the people that had that that on him. For I am a great king, and the Lord Yahweh. Of hosts, my name is dreadful among the heathen. 
Okay, which is the point. My name is dreadful among the heathen. So they ain't going to call upon that because there's dread in it. They know that, that the Heavenly Father was never for them. He When he chose the children of Israel coming out of, when he made it known that he had chosen the children of Israel coming out of Egypt, it was clear. And then when we proceeded walking through the, through the wilderness, he was with us. And when we went into the land of, of Israel, which was the land of Canaan back then, he was with us. Okay? He was working. Okay? That's why Rahab the harlot was like, Now, I heard of the fame of your God. You know? So, man, so, that you know, that's the point. I just wanted to hit that real quick. Lord, when it was edifying, giving all praise and glory, I will bash him, 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 I will bash him,